The Amex Amazon Business Prime card is one that I've had my eyes on for quite a while, mainly because I do have a business in my YouTube channel in which I make a lot of purchases through Amazon. Now, I'm not even somebody that has the personal version of the Amazon Prime card with Chase, but to be honest with you, a lot of my Amazon purchases do include business purchases. And since I'm somebody that likes to separate out my personal and business expenses as much as I can, I thought, why not go ahead and go for the business Prime card instead? Now, there are many other reasons than that as to why I'm applying for this card right now. So let's go ahead and just dive into those. The first reason is, of course, what I just mentioned, I make a lot of purchases on Amazon for my business. What the Amazon Business Prime card gives you is that it does give you 5x back on select US purchases at Amazon Business, AWS, Amazon.com, and at Whole Foods. Personally, I just want this card for the 5% back on Amazon.com, but it's nice that I have some other methods I could get 5% back in if I wanted to. This card also does give you 2% back on US purchases at restaurants, gas stations, and wireless phone services purchased directly from service providers. So I guess that's a nice touch, but at the end of the day, I do already have my Amex Blue Business Plus gives me 2x back on all of my purchases in Amex membership reward point form. Whenever I do transfer my points over to Amex's travel partners, I expect I can get at least two cents per point in value for those points, meaning that my blue business plus would be giving me, you know, roughly 4% back compared to this 2% back I'd be getting on this card. And then of course, this card also gives you 1% back on other purchases made using this prime card. However, like I said, this card is going to be an Amazon dedicated card that I, you know, hopefully get approved for and then can just kind of sock drawer and use it only in my Amazon account. I think we all kind of understand what this card is actually good for earning categories wise, but why did I apply for it right now? Now, the first and biggest reason is because I have been wanting to upgrade my studio a little bit. And I actually do have somebody coming into town for a creator conversations this weekend. So I did want to buy a studio light off of Amazon that I could you know, use for either that interview or just for future videos as well. And whenever you do apply for the Amazon business prime card, if you're approved, you'll instantly get a $125 Amazon gift card. So considering I do have to make a big purchase pretty soon, I figured why not go ahead and get a gift card if I can. Another reason it makes sense for me to apply for this card right now is because I am sitting at 524 with my Chase 524 status. What that means is that I cannot get approved for any Chase credit cards at the moment, theoretically. And if I was to add any more personal credit cards right now, my 524 status would rise. However, since this is a business credit card, it will not add to my 524 account. So therefore I can add a new card to my setup right now with that gift card that I need without increasing my 524 account. And that's really ideal. On top of that, since I am an existing Amex customer already, this card application will not give me a hard pool since I already got my first hard pool with Amex whenever I got my Amex gold card last year. Ever since then, I have not had another hard pull to my credit reports because of Amex. So this card is going to be added to my setup without really having any effect on my personal credit score at all. There are also three smaller factors that I'm applying for this card right now. So let's go ahead and break those down real quick. The first, which being what I talked about earlier, that I do like to separate out my personal and business purchases. And this card's going to do just that for me with my Amazon purchases. On top of that, I've heard that this card actually is a really nice card. Like it's a black metal credit card, which is kind of weird that they would do that on their business prime card. But that's a very small reason that I'm adding it. I just think that it's kind of cool. And it's been one that I kind of wanted to get my hands on and show you all for the channel. However, I know that there are two things to consider here as to why maybe I should not have applied for this card right now. So I'm going to be transparent with those, but just realize that obviously those aren't going to affect me that much as I am still applying for this card. The first drawback is that this card will add to my Amex five credit card limit. For those of y'all that don't know, Amex has a rule where you can only get five of their credit card products. And no, that does not include their charge cards like the Amex gold and platinum cards. With their charge cards, you can get up to 10 of those, but with their credit cards, you technically can only get up to five. However, some people might be able to get six of them or start getting denied at four. So it's kind of like a Amex four to six credit card rule. But yes, this is a credit card product. And since I already had the Amex Blue Business Plus, this will be the second card filling up one of my five card slots. And on top of that, I could have also waited for the bonus to be higher on this card by maybe waiting till something like Prime Day. But to me, the opportunity cost of waiting for that offer rather than using the gift card that I would get for the welcome bonus on something I need right now just didn't make any sense, especially because Prime Day is like three months from the time that I'm filming this video. So I didn't want to have to wait that long for a card that might get like a $50 increase or something like that for the welcome bonus. With that being said, though, let's go ahead and dive into my data points real quick. So y'all can see those and, you know, kind of stack yourself up compared to me to see if maybe you get approved for this card as well. Assuming I do get approved, of course, it's a little bit presumptuous of me. For my TransUnion and Equifax scores, we will be using Credit Karma for that. So just keep that in mind before you start blasting the comments. I know this is maybe a little bit of an overestimation. So, you know, just want to put that out there. With TransUnion right now, I do have a 741 credit score with four hard inquiries. With Equifax, I do have a 754 credit score with one hard inquiry. And with Experian right now, I have a 730 credit score with three hard inquiries. And as you might have just noticed, my credit scores are a little bit lower than they usually are. And the reason for that is probably just because I have not been making early payments to my cards like I normally do. Generally, I do like to make early payments to my credit cards before the statement close date so that my balances that get reported to the credit bureaus are between like one and 2% credit utilization. And then of course, I let the rest of the bill get paid off at my payment due date through auto pay. But in this case, I have not been making those early payments as frequently. So my credit utilization 
utilization has been up a little bit and I just added the Venture X card. So it's a little bit lower than normal, I guess. Oh, and I also want to mention here for my data points that I am just a household member on my mom's Amazon Prime account. So what that means is that I do not actually pay for Amazon Prime myself. My mom pays for it and I added myself as a household member, meaning that I got my own Prime membership through that. I know there's not that many data points out there about people getting approved for the Prime cards whenever they are not actually a Prime holder themselves. So I figured I'd share that with y'all here today in case you were on the fence about these cards because of that, or just didn't even know that you could apply for these cards because of that. But yes, it is true that you can apply for these cards as just a household member since you technically have your own Amazon Prime account through that. Of course, even if you have very similar data points with your hard inquiries and your credit score, that does not necessarily mean that you would get approved for this card if I do. But I do like to share this information just so y'all can kind of be more confident about your application if this is something you're worried about. And on top of that, I have not created a separate Amazon business account because I just don't want to deal with that headache of multiple accounts. So from what I can tell, I can still apply for this card without that Amazon business account. And then, you know, maybe they'll prompt me at the end of it if I do get approved to create that account. But to my knowledge, I don't ever have to create one of those accounts if I don't want to. And that's going to be my goal with this application, assuming I do get approved. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into this application together and just see how it turns out. First things first is you can go down to the description of this video to find a link to the Prime Business card where you can learn how to apply and help support the channel with no additional cost to you. Once you go there, you can see my face here at the top of the screen, letting you know you're in the right place. And then we can check here that this is exactly the card that we want to apply for. We can see that it has no annual fee. The bonus offer is going to be that $125 Amazon gift card when approved for this card. Then I'm going to go ahead and click learn how to apply. And then on the next page, it'll show the card right here again. And you just want to make sure once again, that this is the right card you're wanting to apply for. And you go ahead and click apply now. Now it's going to redirect me over to Amazon's website, I assume, or maybe Amex's to go ahead and fill out this application. And like I assumed, it now redirects me over to Amazon's website where I'm already signed in and everything. And I imagine that the application will be pretty smooth just going through here. And if I haven't touched on this yet, it looks like you can actually either earn 5% back or get 90 day terms for this credit card. What that means is that you either get that 5% back on the first $120,000 spent at Amazon business, AWS, amazon.com, or at Whole Foods. That is as long as you have the Amazon Prime membership, of course, or if you want to go that 90 day terms route, what that means is that you can actually get an extra 90 days interest free on all of your purchases at Amazon business, AWS, amazon.com and Whole Foods. So for me personally, I'm just more focused on getting the rewards and I don't necessarily need those interest free loans by any means, but technically you might need this card for other reasons, but I think most people will be applying for that 5% back. So now I'm going to scroll back up to the top here and go ahead and click apply now. And now we're on the actual application page itself. And for me, I'm going to be applying for this card under my LLC, which is going to be my first business card under my LLC. So we'll see how this application goes. Looks like the first few things that it asks you for are just going to be your business name and all of your business information, like your address and stuff like that. And then once you get past that general information about your business, you're going to get down to your annual business revenue, which is obviously one of the more important lines here. Now, obviously we want this annual business revenue to be as high as it possibly can be, but you also want to be honest with it, of course. Now for me, it's going to be an estimation of all the revenue that I might make in this next year. And since my business is my YouTube channel, that's going to be kind of up in the air because you really never know how fast your channel is going to grow. And that kind of goes for any business at the same time. Like you really never know exactly how fast that business will grow. So of course you want to make a reasonable and estimated guess to this. I think I've probably undershot all of my applications so far with what I put in there. But personally, I just like to be, you know, safe rather than sorry at the end of the day. And, you know, I don't want them to request any tax forms from me if they don't have to. So I try to be reasonable, but yeah, just keep that in mind. For your estimated monthly spend, I guess that would actually be just over all of your business expenses here. Not necessarily just what you're putting on that card. I could be wrong about that, but I'm going to probably put a higher number here so that they do maybe give me that higher limit. Other than that, you're just filling out some more of your business information, like the number of employees you have, the industry you're in, the years in business, company structure, and role in company. The years in business here would be one of the other things to keep in mind. They don't necessarily probably want to see a completely new business applying for this card, but at the same time, if you're a new business, you're a new business. So you have to be honest with that. Ideally, you don't want to necessarily put less than one year, but if you have to just put it, if not, then yeah, definitely want to put as long as you've actually been in business. And technically while yes, the higher number is better here, just be logical with this and put what actually makes sense for your business. So then once we click next at the bottom of the screen here, it's actually going to have us put in our personal details, which I didn't realize up here at the beginning that it does give you a step-by-step -step framework here. So we just went through our business details. Now I put in my personal details and then I review and submit the application. So as for personal details, this will all be very straightforward, like a normal credit card application. The main things to keep in mind here again are going to be this total annual income line. What you want to put again here is going to be the highest number you possibly can while being honest with it. On any credit card application, you always want to have the lowest debt to income ratio possible. So what that means is you usually want to round up on all of your income and down on any debts that they ask you about. But again, be honest with it and just keep that in mind. And then at the bottom here, one of the other things that is different from a normal application is that it does ask you to tell them where to send your bill to either your business address or your home address. So if you're somebody that has a registered agent or something like that for your business address that is located in a different place, then maybe 
you want to put your home address here so you actually get the bills. If they're the same, then I guess it doesn't really matter for you, but just keep this in mind as well. Now, let me go ahead and fill in my personal details and we'll go on to the review and submit screen. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click next down here again. And now it's going to ask me to review all my business and personal information here. So while this is all blurred out, let me just go ahead and go through it and we'll go ahead and submit together. Okay, now that I reviewed that information, I want to come down to the terms and conditions to make sure all of the rates and everything like the annual fees and stuff like that are exactly what I expected. The APRs here are going to be, you know, between 19 and 27%, basically. Like I say, in every one of my watch me applies, I don't really care about the interest rates on my cards because I'm always paying off my cards on time and in full every single month. And I recommend that you do the same. If you don't think you're going to be able to do that every month, then I wouldn't even get a credit card right now because you always want to only be spending what you can actually afford to spend money on. If you use a credit card like a debit card, that's how you find success in the credit card game. Other than that, we see down here that the annual membership fee is $0, which is exactly what we're looking for. Then we have some cash advance, foreign transaction fees, and some other penalty fees to keep in mind. But again, we're not going to be missing any payments here. And I don't really think this is going to be a big deal for me. Now that we're done with all of that, I honestly would not be shocked that once I click agree and submit, I'm going to be sent to a pending review screen. That being because I've never applied for a credit card under my LLC before, and I'm sure that they might need some extra information from me. But let's see if we can continue the streak of always being instantly approved for credit cards. And if so, then this is going to be a great video, obviously. So let's go ahead and click agree and submit here in three, two, one, submit. Oh my gosh, 30 seconds. You gotta be kidding me. This is when the heart starts to go a little bit here. That's for sure. Awesome. Okay. Well, perfect. It looks like I was approved for the business prime credit card. And this is kind of interesting. It looks like it gives me an initial credit limit of $2,500 that's available right now. And then my approved credit limit was actually $12,000 after the card is delivered and I get my confirmation for that card. Now my APR is on the high side of 27%, but like I said, I just don't care about that because I'm going to be paying this off on time and in full every month. And I did receive an Amazon gift card of $125. Like we said, if I scroll down a little bit more here, it shows that I can add additional employee cards right now. And I can actually, you know, straight up apply for them right here. Right now, I'm not going to be doing that, but it is good to know that you can. And it looks like you can add up to four employee cards here if you're curious. As for the card details, these are exactly what we stated earlier. And it looks like I can change the benefits in which I earn right here. That being the default benefit of getting 5% back on your purchases, as we talked about earlier, or getting that 90 day payment term where you can get the free interest for an extra 90 days. Like I said, I'm leaving this one as is because I want that 5% back. And now I can go ahead and use that gift card, hopefully in just a few minutes to make a purchase that I need to for a guest coming into town this weekend that y'all be excited to see a video about. Also, I know I had a lot of questions about this whenever I was about to apply for this card as to whether or not you actually need an Amazon business account. As you can see here, you do not need to actually have the Amazon business account to apply for this card, but I could get it set up right now. And it looks like I would get some perks with that. If I want the gift card instantly, it says I need to click here to have it loaded instantly to my account. Then it just brought me back to this screen. So hopefully it actually did get added. Let's see if I can figure that out. Am I doing a dummy purchase right here? It does look like that Amazon gift card was added to my account. And I don't know why it says $107, but I imagine I actually do have access to the full 125. But since this order was 107, it just set that as my gift card balance. Now at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and add this card to my Apple wallet and do all of that normal stuff that I usually do. But it was great to see that I actually was approved right away for this credit card. And I'm really excited about that. With the addition of this card, I'm now sitting at nine total credit cards in my setup at the age of 23. And you may be wondering how I can manage all of those cards without it becoming like too much of a hassle. So if that is something you're curious about, be sure to go ahead and watch this video next where I explain exactly how I manage my credit cards while giving you a blank template so you can do that for yourselves. As always, Odin and I both want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel and we'll catch you guys next time.